let's say, uh, can you call your company uh, Armin Strom Watch Freaks? Uh, watch freaks, watch geeks, yes. nerds about watches, absolutely yes. Absolutely. Absolutely yes. yes. Because the uh, high end and finish of the watch, of the movement, of the dial, of the parts of the movement, it's crazy. I mean, uh, yes, uh, we, decoration for us is uh, one of the biggest department of Armin Strom is decoration. We pay attention, we have a 360 decoration philosophy to polish, decorate, engrave parts that you don't see also. It's crazy. Uh, look, when I'm looking at the back of the watch, okay, I see quite hidden movement. So, as I understand, all the movement is on the face. Yes, Right. 100%, yeah. Okay, so here we can see all, all the movement, all his details and parts. You see, um, yeah. Okay, Manu, so uh, what I want to ask you about those watches. After I can uh, see the perfect finish, the perfect movement, and uh, let's say everything is perfect, to say the truth. Um, when I'm looking on the back of the watch, I see pretty close movement. So as I understand, all the movement is on the face, right? So the dial, basically, this is the movement. Yes, so actually the movement is the dial. The movement is the face of the product and becoming the face uh, of the brand. And for us, the movement is always in the focus of the watch. Perfect. So uh, as I cannot recognize something usual and similar in this watch part, okay, as we used to see, yeah. uh, so I might guess that uh, Armin Strom Manufactory manufactures all the watch parts himself, right? I mean, Strom is a full-fledged manufacturer. We develop and produce 100% the movement in-house. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, guys, you are watch freaks. Absolutely. We are watch freaks, watch, watch lovers, geeks. watch geeks, everything you can add, we are. <laughs> Got it. Okay, let's say if like 20 or 30 years ago you would say it was a watchmaker, <laughs> you would get a bit angry, but today it's like compliment. The vocabulary <laughs> has changed, but the content yeah. is the same. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, so about the uh, shelf neighborhood, we already t uh, spoke, okay, but there is two more um, brands mm. that I have on my mind that I can say uh, that they are also watch freaks even more than geeks. Uh, it's like MBNF and it's like Christophe Claret. So you see near, uh, you, you see yourself near them on the show or it's more to the group of four say? I mean, uh, no, I mean, uh, as super respectful brands. MBNF stands for a very futuristic design, new interpretation. Uh, which is very good, and uh, Christophe Claré, of course, is a genius inventor. So, as we see, there is room for excellence, for uniqueness, creativity in this market, and uh, we are all being inspired by each other regarding the technique, but also of the design. And this is a good thing for our friends, the collectors, the aficionados, they have the choice, because I think the watch industry was never so creative that in these days. Yes, yes, it's absolutely reaching the top uh, engineering, as we can see. Absolutely. If you look into the last 10 years, uh, of course, we have the very established designs by very famous brands, but we see more and more so-called independent brands who are coming up with never done before formats. And I think it's fantastic for, it is. For, the, for the collectors to have alternatives, to have choices and to enrich their collections. Okay, and now I want to ask you about the unique thing that Armstrong Manufactory have made. Uh, it's about the minute repeater mm. combined <coughs> with the resonance. As you say, you know this year we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of the factory, the new factory. So to create a gift for ourselves, but also to our friends, we have created a Grand Complication, and it's the first time ever that we have a minute repeater based on the resonance system. This never existed before. And as I can guess, it's one of the most complicated systems in the world. 
I mean, it is very complicated, A, because the resonance itself is very rare and complicated, and B, to have combined it with Minute Repeater took us another two years of development, that means altogether five years development, and seeing the piece, you see immediately the uniqueness. The uniqueness is that you can literally see the resonance show and the minute repeater. So you see the two gongs and the hammers, and this is something very unique to have the full show on the front. Okay, and uh, what are... Um, I heard from, uh, from my colleague Igor, I think, that the power reserve of the minute repeater is something like amazing again. This is also something unique. It's uh, the power reserve duration is 96 hours which, as far as uh, we know, is the longest power reserve that is existing today for a minute repeater. So this is, I think, very good. And another point I would like to point out is, of course, it's about the minute repeater, it's the sound. Minute repeater, everything is about the sound. What, yeah, what kind of sound did we choose? We wanted the sound that was straightforward, clear, and with the necessary volume. You have to be able to listen to it. So after a very long period of testing, we came up with this typical Armin Strom sound that you hopefully will like. Mm, I just want to hear it. I have it. <laughs> well, you see, as you know, we are very modest and humble watch guys. We are not in Geneva. Therefore, we are looking for a sound typical for Armin Strom. We are based in Bilbien, close to the capital, Bern. So our philosophy for the sound is something very straightforward, clear, and with the necessary volume to offer a no-nonsense minute repeater. Um, so I think we should listen to it. It's loud. You hear it? Yes. What we want it. Actually, we should close our eyes and say, what time is it? Yes, yes. This one minute this is <laughs> this actually, is yes. <laughs> By the way, again, I'll tell you that a lot of people don't know about it. What? Minute repeater? Yes. What, what, he, what, he, what he is for? Absolutely. I mean, uh, the word, a lot of people know the word, but uh, then uh, what is the meaning of minute repeater maybe is not so famous and also how it works. The first gong is for the hours, then there's a small break. Then you have the double gong for the 15 minute segment, another break, and then the minute. So sure. now we know. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, seriously, a lot of people don't know. And uh, the know. even clients who bought it, they are coming. Why it's all the time sounds different? With a question like this. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you just say, <laughs> you <laughs> know, <laughs> that's how it should work. The market is sometimes very funny. At the end of the day, um, we don't need to know everything. We need to appreciate the art and everybody can do it in his own personal way. <coughs> My colleague Alexei told me that I have to wait for more than five months to just get one like this. Is, this, is that true? Well, you see, we don't produce <coughs> just for this on stock. Um, a lot of pieces we do actually are also customized and so the minimum today would be five months so unfortunately for western christmas already too late to order something i think also for russian new year but maybe for chinese new year would be still okay regarding the time to get any order yes. right yes uh, so as i can understand uh, it can be situation like this that they will be selling for over retail if i want it right now of course i mean uh, this is something that you might order right now and then uh, i have to pay a for couple it. of months for it it's uh, at higher price so if you i to want today if you want i have to, to pay for it if you want immediately there's uh, probably a higher cost of course higher price okay i got it it's perfect it's perfect <laughs> it's good yes um, okay, now let's speak a talk about the price. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, how much for going to be retailed the <coughs> steel one resonance 
with a special dial. This a special dial, right? Yes, I understand. exactly. This mirrored force resonance in steel has a special dial. Uh, it's a Guilloché dial that we did exclusively with Kari Vutilainen. The price for this watch is 59,000 Swiss francs. And how many years warranty are you getting for this watch? You are getting a uh, two years warranty. Two years mm -hmm. warranty. Uh, in what countries more uh, this uh, manufacturer is the most popular for the day? Uh, it's today actually very strong position in the US, okay. Asia and uh, in Europe. The US, Asia and Europe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so only Russia and... Uh, I mean, Russia, <laughs> we consider Russia as part of Europe. <laughs> so, <laughs> but actually we have a lot of uh, Russian customers buying outside of Russia. Whether in uh, Florida, in the, in the States, but also in other European countries, uh, which is, I think, also a common phenomenon for this price range. Stop, the watches are amazing. They are, seriously. Okay, and one more uh, question that I want to ask you. Uh, I already can imagine to myself a uh, gold bracelet on this watch. Do you have them? You have so much creativity. Um, of course, a metal bracelet is something very spectacular that would really fit to this kind of watch. As per today, we are offering uh, alligator straps and rubber strap for the watches. Metal bracelet is um, in discussion, but that's all what I can say now. It's in discussion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I can this guess. This is I the, the guess, uh, I can guess the future. Actually, <laughs> there are three steps. Discussion, motivation, action. Yes. And uh, we will see what we develop in the next uh, months. I already imagine on my wrist this one on a metal bracelet. A steel bracelet you would like? Yes, mm. it's gonna be perfect. Yeah. Seriously, with this Gilles dial. You see, uh, why not considering a first project working on something very unique to kick it off for a special region. This is mainly what we do when we want to launch new material, uh, new execution, it's coming from a request, a direct request from the market asking us to do things we never did before and then we launch the project. Друзья, знаете, в чём самая большая проблема? эти часы на картинках не передают всю красоту и невероятность исполнения, как они выглядят на самом деле. Эти часы надо увидеть вживую обязательно, хотя бы раз в жизни, если у вас будет возможность такова, просто чтобы их увидеть, подержать в руках, разглядеть детально, это будет очень круто на самом деле, потому что такого уровня исполнения и качества я мало где видел.